The last 7 p.m. sunset of the year came and went, and darkness continues to encroach upon the evenings. We're losing, on average, nearly three minutes of daylight a day this time of year. The reason we lose daylight so quickly in September and October takes us to space. The Earth follows an elliptical or non-circular orbit around the Sun. The Earth is also tilted on its axis 23.5 degrees, both of which contribute to the Earth's seasons. In addition to daylight hours, the sun angle also decreases. Therefore, the sun crosses the horizon lower in the sky. This is why you often hear complaints of people driving with the sun in their eyes in the fall and spring more than in the summer or winter. The autumnal equinox occurs when the sun's rays are directly over the equator, resulting in equal day and night there. This year, the equinox occurs at 2.19 in the afternoon on Monday, September 22nd. We lose daylight much quicker around the fall equinox than any other time of year. The amount of daylight lost and gained over the course of a year is not linear, it follows the curve of a pendulum. Mathematically, the most daylight is lost, or gained, when the line is the steepest, which is where the equinoxes are located on the graph. The Earth tilts away from the Sun more dramatically in higher latitudes, which is why Maine will lose more daylight than Florida. As we step farther into fall, you can expect later sunrises and earlier sunsets. And of course, our average high temperature will continue to drop into the 50s by the end of October. And here in Maine, we also have to start thinking about snow. October averages less than half an inch of snow in Portland, but there have been more than a few occasions where several inches fell. In the studio, I'm meteorologist Dana Osgood, New Center, Maine.